It's from the beginning. Neda, as in so bad cat ke. Neda said that the election was rigged, and she could not believe that the huge number of Musavi supporters that we'd so clearly seen during the campaign had suddenly reduced to such a small number to create a result in Ahmadinejad's favor. She couldn't accept it. But Caspian had decided to stay away. I never believed in this protest, and I never thought we'd get anything out of it. I believed that after a few days they'd end it, and no one could do anything about it. I thought the Islamic Republic of Iran had always repressed protests. This would be the same. You had the Revolutionary Guard say the number of people on the streets amount to a velvet revolution, and we will not allow a velvet revolution to succeed. That was stated the day before the election. They had been planning for this. They were expecting it. I don't think they were expecting, however, that so many people would come out in the streets and vote in favor also of Musavi. You know, it's a friend of mine who knows Iran really well. And, you know, she's talking to me on the phone and she's saying, this is it. This is the struggle that everyone's been waiting for for 30 years. They've finally taken the gloves off and they're punching each other with bare fists. Government supporters now came out in force. For them, and millions of others, President Ahmadinejad had won. An awful lot of people, you know, voted for him. It's perfectly natural. Ahmadinejad is a blacksmith's son, and he is at heart a socialist. He wanted to be able to help the people. Nader Mokhtari, a supporter of the regime, blames the violence on opposition leader Musavi. If he had not said the election had been rigged without any evidence, sub substantial evidence, none of this would have happened. That's rabble-rousing. We're not going to give up Iran because Mr. Musavi has lied. We would not give up Iran because we paid such a heavy price to have it. And this is the voice of the majority of Iranians. The opposition fought back. The largest demonstration since the Islamic Revolution. To a leading figure in the events of 1979, now in exile, the similarities were obvious. What they don't want to accept, they don't want to understand. This is the people of Iran. Like the Islamic Revolution. That was the people of Iran as well. Like the Constitution Revolution. This is the majority of the people who wants freedom. Who wants democracy. Wants human rights. A founder of the Revolutionary Guard, Mohsen Sazagara, was watching events unfold and posting his own messages of support. This is uh, the generation of internet. This is the generation of globalization era. This is the, the generation which doesn't believe in ide you know, revolutionary ideology anymore. They want to live like the other young people uh, in other countries. 
maybe they want secularism, they don't like the Islamic regime anymore, religious regime anymore. Neda went to every single demo, all of them. It was during one of those protests that a woman in black chador came up to her and said, My girl, why don't you dress a little bit more conservatively for these demos? Because I know these animals. They have real psychological issues and usually go after the beautiful ones. And you are a pretty girl. Protests were largely peaceful until mid-afternoon, when a clash outside a Basij militia station turned violent. And a bunch of people just broke away from the main demonstration of, of uh, people who were asking for, for reform and started attacking this station, um, at the 117th Basij, with Molotov cocktails and tried to set it alight. Imagine someone trying to set fire to a military base in the middle of London. They, they, you know, you can imagine the reaction from the security forces. The authorities told foreign journalists they could not be responsible for their safety. They were ordered to leave Iran. But Greek-British journalist Yassin Athanasiadis was arrested and charged with espionage, the start of a three-week ordeal. I don't know if they ever thought I was a spy. I, I think for them it was a convenient way of uh, intimidating journalists, um, basically getting the government off their back uh, you had the entire political leadership of the country screaming that there had been a velvet revolution. The Iranian intelligence were under huge pressure to prove that there were in fact foreign saboteurs running around trying to create a colored revolution. State media was blaming street violence on terrorist groups. هدف اصلی اولین شبکه تروریستی کشف شده تخریب انتخابات به واسطه بمبگذاری و ایجاد آشوب و اختشاش بوده است. His interrogators underlined the regime's view of the protesters that their heads had been turned by the West. Those people that run bus stops and attack the police and fought with the Basij and trashed banks, uh, I mean, for, for him, these people were just um, thugs uh, and criminals. I think he saw it as his purpose in life to uproot these people. They are the ones who wore Levi's jeans and little Converse t-shirts, who go on holiday to uh, Antalya in Turkey who has um, a couple of beers, who uh, isn't married, that's of an early age, who isn't a responsible family person, who doesn't care for Shiite pilgrimages or for uh, preserving this part of their identity, which is Iranian and Islamic at the same time. Sometimes Neda went alone to the protests or with a friend, with her music teacher or with her mother. She said she liked being among these people. <laughs> 